Passage six is conflicts. We know this because it says hypothesis one, hypothesis two. This will usually say hypothesis, student, or scientist. So in our DRC approach, C is conflicts. We're gonna carefully read. We're gonna take more time to read this one than we do data or research. When we get to the questions, remember the R and R approach, read the question and then rereading it, breaking it down step by step. Step one is to identify the conflict. The conflict is usually presented in the last sentence of the first paragraph. So if you're gonna take any shortcuts, you might can shortcut to that. In this particular passage, the conflict is, two hypotheses were proposed to explain how three heat absorbing greenhouse gases in early Earth's atmosphere contributed to the presence of liquid water on the surface. So step two is to annotate the differences. Go through and see what each individual believes. So hypothesis one, volcanic eruptions released both CO2 and NH3. I like to draw pictures and make notes off to the side. Microbes produced CH4 by metabolizing hydrogen. So hydrogen metabolizes into CH4. CO2 concentration was about 100 times as great. NH3 concentration about 20 times as great. CH4 concentration about a thousand times as great. And then the CO2, NH3, and CH4 all absorbed enough heat to keep the liquid water on the surface. When I did it on my own, just annotating, I just write it out at the side. That's what it looks like. So a little bit different than on the computer, but not much. Hypothesis two, CO2, NH3, and CH4 were due to volcanic eruptions. That's different than hypothesis one, which only had CO2 and NH3. Then you have CO2 concentration was about 40 times as great, also different from hypothesis one. NH3 was about 10 times as great, and CH4 was about the same. Then you have nitrogen and hydrogen were twice where they are today, and these concentrations enhance the heat absorbing effects. That's a big difference. And this again is what mine looked like when I just wrote it. So it's gonna take you between two and four minutes to get to the questions. And when you get to questions, you just break them down and hopefully they're faster because you've read. So in this one, a supporter of hypothesis one and two would agree that the early earth period magma from beneath earth's surface contains. So magma would be volcanoes. And we see that in hypothesis one and hypothesis two. You can see it in the reading if you want. It's gonna contain both carbon and nitrogen compounds. So a little bit of knowledge there, you need to know that C and N are carbon and nitrogen. So carbon and nitrogen. Question 21, we're using hypothesis two. Suppose that the current atmospheric CO2 concentration is approximately 395 parts per million. The atmospheric CO2 on early earth was most likely. Okay, so we know that in early earth CO2 was about 40 times more. So 40 times about 400 is about 16,000 or choice B. When I answered this one as the only one I got wrong is I looked at the wrong hypothesis. I went to hypothesis one, which says CO2 is about 100 times more. And I answered C. So the first time I did this, my, my annotations first time, I got it wrong with choice C. And it was a silly mistake. I just didn't put my finger on hypothesis one. So that's important. Which of the hypotheses indicate that two additional gases were necessary? Well, we saw that in hypothesis two, where nitrogen and hydrogen were both needed. So hypothesis two. It's a pretty easy one if you understood the reading. Regard to CH4 and early Earth's atmosphere, which of the following statements describes the difference between hypothesis one and two? According to hypothesis one, CH4 was. So CH4 in hypothesis one was metabolized using hydrogen gas. So that's gonna, we'll see that in choice C or D. Now in hypothesis two, because what continues, it says whereas in choice C and D, hypothesis two, CH3 came from, I mean CH4 came from volcanic eruptions. So choice C has to be the correct answer. Metabolism of the microbes referred to in hypothesis one. That's right there, okay. 
was likely represented by which of the equations? So microbes produced CH4. So CH4 is produced by metabolizing hydrogen. So CH4 produced metabolizing hydrogen, choice F. You don't even need a deep understanding of chemical equations to know that one thing leads to the other. Hypothesis one would be best supported by which of the following findings of CO2 and CH4. So we're looking at hypothesis one. Let's break down the choices. Answer A said CO2 is 20 times. Nope, that's 100 times more, so not A. Um, CH4 was 20 times. No, CH4, that's 1,000 times. So that's wrong. And then these last two are both looking at CO2 produced by microbes or CH4 produced by microbes. And it's CH4, so your answer is D. Suppose that if Earth's atmospheric NH2 concentration were increased, the atmosphere would scatter the sunlight, resulting in cooler temperatures. This would weaken which of the hypotheses. So if N2 increases, it equals a cooler surface. Which one would disagree with that? We see in hypothesis two, we remember this if we got the earlier questions right, that an N2 concentration was necessary, so it would weaken hypotheses two so g here's our answers so you can double check 20 is h 21 b 22 g 23 c 24 f 25 d 26 g